Thanks for tuning in to my official YouTube channel. I'm Reverend Me Ling. Been known by a few names. That's Reverend Me Ling, Reverend Susan Me Ling, Susan Me Ling, Lady Me Ling, Lady Dory Bell, so on and so forth. So, um, whatchamacallit, Pastor Sam had made a comment about a bloodhound dog which my ex-sister-in-law, Mary Evangelina Nichols Osteen, had this bloodhound dog named Elvis that she had held a guy at gunpoint because she thought he had stolen her dog. She said she knew his bark, which bloodhounds have an extremely distinctive bark. There, There, there is that, but... It's very difficult, I think, to tell the difference between one bloodhound's bark to a, to another if you don't raise the litter themselves. And so, Mary Evangelina Nichols Osteen had told me about that, and I asked her, why would you do that? She said that was her protecting her dog. But then she said that Elvis never acted the same after she got him back to her house. And so when I had asked, you know, well, what if, hypothetically, that dog wasn't your dog? And you literally robbed a guy of his dog at gunpoint. And she looked at me and she was like, no, it was Elvis. I said, you could call that dog whatever you want to call it. If it didn't act like Elvis did before you lost your dog, uh, probably wasn't your dog, hypothetically. And, you know, I hope there's a day that you get to deal with justice for that because that just sounds illegal to hold a guy at gunpoint to steal his dog. Do you know how much of a country music song you sound like? I mean, like, that guy literally could have written a country song about you, like something like, you know, and then this crazy white trash insane female <laughs> showed up to my house. <laughs> she was stealthy like a rat and quiet like a mouse. <laughs> and then she, I didn't give this as an example, I'm just doing this off the top of my head. <laughs> And then, you know, uh, then she pulled out something from behind her back. And for a second, my thoughts were all out of whack. <laughs> and then she pointed whatever the firearm was to the head. And I knew that it was better to give up my dog than to wind up dead to some crazy, insane <laughs> white trash female. Who stole my dog. <laughs> Her face <laughs> made something sure look pretty from a hog. <laughs> or something along those lines. <laughs> but she was offended she was offended that I had said that. I was like, do you know how old country songs went? Usually they were talking about, you know, some crazy, insane female doing some stupid stuff and then their dog, like, being taken. Like, you are literally the epitome of a, a country music song, but like an old school country music song. <laughs> She didn't like that, which I still don't care. Uh, but yeah, she had this entitlement thing, Mary Evangelina Nichols Osteen. She thought that just because I had made the choice for my son and my daughter to move closer to Fort Worth and, and yes, had stopped in Georgia for a little bit, she thought that like she was entitled to stuff and it's like, no. You're not entitled to anything. What you're entitled to is your husband and your children. You're not entitled to anything. I did not even have to stop in Georgia. I could have just driven through and only stopped for gas. I was being courteous. And so, you know, but yeah, she had, she had Mary Evangelina Nichols Osteen had talked about that 
in Fort Worth. And her sister, my other ex-sister-in-law, Susie Marie Nichols Lopez, she thought that was funny. I was like, you know, I know people when I grew up in New Jersey that would have taken that firearm from you and blown you away on their front porch and then went inside, lit up a cigarette, and then, you know, after cleaning up some stuff at their house, then called the police. But, you know, that apparently was whatever it was. It was just like, you know, you're, you're my basic point in that was you're lucky that wasn't where I grew up and grew up walking around. Because, yeah, go up to somebody's house and, it's my dog Elvis. No, it's not your dog Elvis. And then, yeah, she complained over and over that Elvis just wasn't right after she got him back. And she tried to actually blame it on the dog being traumatized by seeing her hold a firearm. That was what her excuse was. Because dogs somehow know what a firearm is. <laughs> That's actually kind of a really good idea. I can't play the guitar and I can't do the drums but like that would be such a fun song to make I knew this crazy ex sister-in-law <laughs> psycho <laughs> insane <laughs> make an old school country song <laughs> but she really is one like, like her whole <laughs> sis like Johnny Cash would have had so much fun <laughs> writing like <laughs> just saying there's a few other guys that you know old school like old school <laughs> country songs like from the 30s and 40s ah oh, yes yeah they oh what a runner through the mud and <laughs> I know I'm weird that's perfectly fine I accept that however yeah 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 she th she just could not understand why Elvis just didn't act like Elvis after she got the dog back to her house in Georgia and it was the house before uh David had um moved the them onto uh Warner Robins Air Force Base, which is kind of ironic now that I think about it, because my now ex-boyfriend, Jesse Lee Roy Hoover Jr., had said that his friend from the Air Force that was a navigator had the last name Warner, and if I'm not mistaken, it's spelled similar to Warner Robins Air Force Base. So that takes her psychosis, hypothetically, to a whole other level that she would put my son and my daughter, her nephew and her niece, at even more risk instead of being a decent human being, which is just even more disgraceful, despicable, deplorable, and disgusting. However, you know... my opinion. I doubt I'm the only one that has an opinion like that of my ex-sister-in-law, Mary Evangelina Nichols Osteen. But she thought she was hardcore for doing that. I, I still don't understand why she thought she was hardcore and then complained about Elvis not acting like Elvis. Then again, that's coming from the same female that, you know, she was so drunk one night when her and David were leaving a, a swingers party that when he accidentally ran over a squirrel in Georgia, I don't know, you know, maybe there's more than one squirrel in that state. However, anyway, he ran over the squirrel and then Mary Evangelina Nichols Osteen was so drunk she would not stop hitting him until he turned the car around so that way she could take her brand new shoes that she kept in boxes after she had worn them at 
you know, different events, to take those shoes out of the box, to use the box to scoop up the squirrel guts to have a funeral in the backyard of their rental house in Macon, Georgia. But she tried to say she was hardcore. Hardcore psychotic. Hardcore insane. My opinion. Again, doubt I'm the only one who has that opinion. Nonetheless. And David was there when she told me that. And she was so proud of herself. And I just looked at her and I was like, what is wrong with you? And then I looked at David and I was like, why did you marry that? Like, what? It can't be that good. Like, and even if it is that good, there is still other good out there that is not attached to psycho. Like, just, or in, or however you want to put that. Nonetheless, um, just saying. <laughs> make the guy turn around that way he can watch his drunk wife fumble in her, her outfit for a swingers party, which those who have been to swingers parties know the average outfit. So drunk, trying to scoop up squirrel guts to put into a fancy shoe box at like 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning. Again, as if there are not other squirrels in the state of Georgia. That was the only, like, I don't know if she thought that was the only squirrel in the entire state of Georgia. Uh, I would guesstimate there are some people in the state of Georgia or anywhere that could be like, yeah, no, 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 no. But they're vermin. <laughs> they're, <laughs> they're just as annoying as rats. And, you know, yeah. But yeah, yeah, she tried to impress me with that. First, she wanted me to see how that made her hardcore, which, not where I come from, um, at all. That doesn't make you hardcore at all, whatsoever. That makes you insane and psychotic and pathetic and a waste of human flesh oxygen thief and just ugh, yeah just tell someone from New Jersey or New York that or Pennsylvania specifically Pittsburgh or Philadelphia tell them that and see their response I guarantee they, there'll be a whole bunch of expletives <laughs> as they go on and call my ex-sister-in-law a psychotic insane, crazy, dumb, just essentially agreeing with me, um, but using a whole bunch more expletives. <laughs> Probably not even being able to get through a whole word that has more than two syllables without adding several expletives per syllable <laughs> in the process of saying <laughs> that. <laughs> but absolutely being able to make fun of that in so many ways. But yeah, yeah, yeah. She thought she was hard for that. Hard-headed. Hard to understand how she was allowed to procreate. Um, <laughs> hard to understand why she was allowed to continue breathing at all. Hard to understand why, just why. <laughs> My personal opinion, again, I doubt I am the only one who would think like that. I would guesstimate there are probably some people in Georgia who would be like, yeah, um, 100% agree. <laughs> Although with that Southern accent, that Georgia Southern accent. Um, anyway, so. <laughs> and then her claiming to be a Georgia Belle and having been born in Louisiana, 
raised there until her teenage years to then live in Fort Worth and then move to Georgia? I don't know. I have a feeling like actual Georgia Bells would disagree fully. <laughs> By a lot. So I'm going to end this particular official YouTube video of mine. Make sure you comment, like, share, and subscribe to my official YouTube channel. You guys have a good one. <laughs> I hope you were able to giggle. <laughs>